I'm Jenna Kitchy, Hypno Woman, and I'm here to rescue you. I just want to take a few minutes to talk about stress. I feel like I've been talking about stress my entire professional life, certainly as a hypnotherapist. And usually what I'm here to do is to make you relax. And that's still relevant nowadays, even more so than ever before, because there are two states of being, biologically speaking, your body, your biology, your cells are in growth or they're in protection, fear. Spiritually, I'd say, you're either in fear or love. So, you know all about love, don't you? That's when the environment is conducive to growth. That's when you're relaxed. Everything seems easier than before. Everything is right, even though things that aren't quite. Maybe you've already paid for your holiday and you're damn well going to enjoy it. And yes, there might be things wrong, but these two weeks or this week, you're going to make sure you enjoy yourself. And it usually involves a certain rapport with nature, swimming in the sea or mountain climbing or just walking without any time constraints or certainly not the same as when you've been working full on. So the body experiences two states of being, growth or love, where the tissues repair, where the immune system is strong and resilient, and fear. Fear puts the body into a protection mode, the kind of fight or flight or freeze response, where the energy is concentrated in the arms and legs so that you can get the heck away from whatever's chasing you. In the old days, it was a saber-toothed tiger. And in modern days, it's those bills, the relationships we're trying to maintain as ably as possible. <clears throat> and even uh, worries about our own health or the health of people that we love. So I wonder what state you're in at the moment. And if you're in fear, as most people are to some degree at the moment, we call it shades between fear and growth, don't we? We call it anxiety or being a little bit worried or not sure what's going on. If that's fear, I wonder what level you're at. It's time to calibrate because 10 is absolutely blind panic where your body kind of shuts down to all else. And zero is you just couldn't give a damn at the moment. It, it's important to calibrate because these levels of fear and protection uh, correspond to the level of cortisol and adrenaline in your system. And the more you can calm down, and you know, I know there's more to it than me saying calm down. As a comedian said, not long ago. Never in the history of calming down has anybody ever calmed down by being told to calm down. It's a process and I've spent the last 15, 17 years developing processes to help you relax. And no matter how stressed you are, no matter what's going on in your life, if you can take five minutes, 20 minutes to genuinely physically relax and then mentally emotionally and spiritually relax, your body can recover. So the body's either in stress or in growth. You might even remember the film Lucy. I tried to explain this to us lay people folk. Right, um, time for me to go to bed now. I just wanted to share that with you that there's two states that your body's in. If you're not in one, you're in the other. 
and the reason why your immune system gets compromised when you're in a state of stress and certainly prolonged stress is that the last thing the body's going to do is give resources to systems like the immune response if it's trying to run away from a saber tooth tiger. That's what the butterflies are, by the way. You know, when you get that constriction in the gut and we've romanticized it over the years, that those are the blood vessels squeezing and shutting down so that the blood goes to other areas of the body. We could do an entire video on the biology of fear and growth, fear and love. And um, just know that you're either in one or the other and it's time to lower those stress levels so that we can all put energy into our immune systems and stay strong. I've got a huge amount of videos to help you with that. They're um, important to know the importance of doing so. Switch off for a few minutes every day and help yourself, help your immune system get strong. Okay. Stay safe, wash your hands, do things you love, stay happy, look after each other, be calm, communicate and get creative. I'll speak to you again soon. I've been Jenny Kitching, Hypno Woman, and uh, take care. Bye-bye.